Former Deputy Finance Minister in the Mahama administration has criticized the Bank of Ghana over the issuance of the new denominations. Kweku Ricketts Hagen, who is the MP for Cape Coast South, says there is no justification in introducing high value denominations in an economy where the government says inflation is dropping and even boasting of a single digit. It is, it is a fraud, and I will repeat it again. And I think that we need to look into the decision in, in basically coming up with that, that thing. It's a fraud in the sense that it's money that is not needed in the economy. There is no justification. And if you do something that has no justification, then there's probably a hidden purpose of trying to build that money. You're impugning criminality. Absolutely. Absolutely. Impugning criminality on the part of the governor of the Bank of Ghana? On the bank, on the, on, on, on the central bank. Unless I get a, a good reason why the money has been printed. He has a legal mandate. Well he, well, he has a legal, has a legal mandate. mandate. Yeah, so... To print whatever he decides once it is within the law, he can do it. No, absolutely not. The Bank of Ghana does not print money by itself. It is under the authorization of the, of the government. The Bank of Ghana is the bank of the government. They may be independent, but they still have to work together with government. If they are going to borrow money, say they're going to do euro bond, okay? It's not the central bank itself that goes to do the euro bond. They need authorization from parliament. Parliament needs to approve from the executive. So don't get um, you know, caught, in, uh, caught up in, in this, in terms of that the bank has the right to print any money they want. So why didn't they print a thousand Ghana CD notes?